ladies and gentlemen, that the President of the United States has been the victim of an assassination. my important guest who will deliver the J July 4th Independence Day speech. What has gone wrong with America is not a random visitation of fate. It is the result of forces which have assumed control of the American system. Economic royalists, as oppressive as the a crown 200 years ago. These forces are militarism, monopoly, and the uh, mass media. As your artist president, I've addressed you on several other occasions through the media, and I have always valued this opportunity. It is truly fitting that I am only able to talk to you tonight via television, for like all presidents in recent years, I am in reality nothing more than another image on your uh, television sets. I am in reality only another face on your screens. I am in reality, only another link in that chain of pictures which makes up the uh, sum total of information accessible to us all as Americans. Like my elected predecessors, the content of the image I present is no different than the image itself. Because I must function only as an image, I have chosen in my career to begin with the end and to be born in a sense even as I was dying. I suffered my image death on the streets of Dallas, Texas, August 10, 1975, in order to render my ultimate service to the media which created me and without which I would be nothing. I did this to emphasize the fact that no president can ever again be anything more than an image, and that no image could ever be in the past, nor can ever be in the future, anything but dead. I am happy to be here in Texas today and to have this opportunity to speak to you via television. Texas is a great state, and it is appropriate that we have come here to make these statements about the American condition. Do you consider yourself a, a martyr for art? No, I don't. Well, how would you characterize this act of yours? Uh, it's uh, difficult to characterize. It's crazy, yes. It is crazy. I understand that part of it. Is this a freedom of speech statement? No, it isn't. Ask me what it is, and perhaps we'll together be able to figure it out. Is it a confrontation with death? No, it isn't. It's close, though. It's uh, 
But it's not really a, a confrontation with death, no. Ask me another question. Is this, um, what you call this art? It's not, not art. Where do you think you're going to go from here? To heaven. To uh, celebrity heaven. As opposed to rock and roll heaven, or? No. They may be the shame. But I think they're different. So but you'll I'm be sure. So you'll be up there with uh, Jimi Hendrix and Janis Joplin? No, I'll be there with uh, Charles de Gaulle. <laughs> King Henry VIII. I'm waving away. No, okay, you come around the corner. I, I, I think I see that. Hot and sign. Okay, back in the car again. We're going to do it real good. Go right side. Bam. Turn around, go. And then Jackie got to back in the car real fast. Freezing. So I kept choosing mine, and I kept letting them go on the floor. The rest of it, they kept wandering all around. About half the rest of it was empty. Oh, God, I got you. Jesus. Oh, I got you. Oh, that was the Nuria version. <laughs> this is, this is really bad taste. Yeah, <laughs> good blood. <laughs> So is this some, you feeling serious about this? Mm -hmm. Pretty serious. <clears throat> you having ba bad dreams like Doug? Yeah, I've been waking up every night. What are the dreams about? Um, uh, puzzled, very puzzled. Uh, it's confusing. It's uncomfortable in those clothes, and the makeup's real uncomfortable. My skin's all uh, broken out from it. So I don't, I don't feel comfortable, and the wig is put on real tight. So it's very constricting. But uh, I only relate to it as an image, you know? I don't relate to it as acting, like Jackie. There's some way you would describe this event? I mean, would you call this art? Is this an art event, or I mean, what is it, really? That's, that's what it is. What it is is figuring out what it is. Okay, well, if you get any ideas, just let me know. Okay, okay. I'll keep you posted. Okay, thanks. Do you feel, are you getting tense about it? Uh, I, I seem don't, to feel see, like I, you're getting more... I don't... <clears throat> my scan on the thing was much more of a guerrilla activity mm -hmm. to come be absolutely anonymous, really low profile, in a very low profile hotel. And, uh, you know, just do it. And I think the way it's being done is a, is too high profile. So that's and it making, bothers me. Because uh -huh. it, uh, it's a scary event and this is a scary place down here. Texas is a scary place. They're coming down the stairs? No, they're, no, they're coming right from the elevator. Yeah. TV right after? I've seen it on TV. I've seen the whole film. We're going to take a look at it today. We're on, on the... Right here in Dealey Plaza.
pass and is in a caravan of cars and, and he, he picked him off right here. Shot him with a rifle, high powered rifle. Now here here he comes right here. See that they're doing it just like a, that's the president and Ms. Jackley Kennedy. See she, she's dressed just like her. Mm -hmm. The day she shot. See there, see they shot him right there. What watch her. See, that's what she did. See that uh, Secret Service man crawling on that? That's where he did it. They took off, went around to Parkland Hospital. You remember we passed Parkland Hospital yesterday? I don't that's know. That's where they took. Don't you remember I said that's where the president mm -hmm. died there after he was shot? Well, I saw all of it on television, you know, after it happened, but I can't, uh, I don't know. It just doesn't look the same. <laughs> like What's different I, about it? Well, I don't know. I, the streets, I, I don't know, it looked like a different setting or something. <laughs> it looks different. How about the size? Uh, well, Does it look a little smaller than you know? I, yeah. That's it, it closer, I think. Uh, the buildings seem closer together. Oh, see if you can get this, Ursula. So. <laughs> it just looks so real now. The characters look so real. He's been shot. Or he's been shot again. It must be hard guarding the president. It is. It's a rough job. Unfortunately, we fucked up on this one. What do you mean? Well, he got killed. Well, how did you know that? Did you kill the president? No, I saw it, though. I saw his head come off. Let's do it as if it hasn't happened yet. As if he's still alive. Yeah. Having a good day? The same. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Don't expect anything to happen, do you? Well, we were always worried about Dallas. It's a tough city. It's a gun city. And, uh... There's a lot of kooks here, a lot of crazy. Have you ever uh, had a dangerous situation? Oh, yeah. Yeah, like what? Yeah, the Puerto Rico situation. Yeah. You remember that one? Were you in the... I was in an advance car on that one. There's a couple of crazy people loose with guns. I gotta go now. I gotta go. Take It'd be pretty hard to see a man out here unless he's particularly watching. But he could have shot right, right about now. See where that fatal shot was, right there. And that would have been, this has been a perfect spot for him, right here. And then how would have you gotten in the way? Well, he would have just dropped down in here and crawled back under there. And from what I understand, I don't know. That's just what I've heard. That, that sewer leads into the plaza and all over the city of Dallas, as far as I know. If, if you came back here 10 years from now and saw the same thing again, do you think it would still? It would still mean the same to me because this, this place here seems to mean a lot to the whole United States, I think. Yeah. People, uh, you don't think people forget? No, uh, they don't forget. No, I don't think they'll ever forget this place. Uh, we get a magic Oh, wow. Uh, Mr. President gone. They killed Mr. President. Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. They killed They killed Mr. President. Kennedy, and Kennedy, Kennedy. Uh, car and him in there. So it really is uh, surprising that uh, they probably have it just more or less so for uh, tourists, like don't they, for demonstrations or something? Mm -hmm. That does look like her. My God, yes. My oh look, he's reenacting it. Oh no. It's like the real thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. So realistic. No, it's terrible. We're out on the street working. What? We were out. We were out on the street working. And when it happened? Oh Lord. We At work. Okay. Some woman. Some woman came out of the house and told us it happened. I, I, was been been I, I was cutting grass when I ran in and turned the TV on. She was upset because her husband uh, was in Secret Service. She didn't know where he was at. He was out of town. That's one of the reasons. What can happen to somebody so wonderful? Yeah. 
the turtles when her beat up. Look at that. <laughs> he does it any more time, you're going to have to put him in the tub someplace. I'm glad we were here. I really am. We just made it in time to see this. It feel bad, yeah. and yet I feel good. <laughs> oh, you me all nervous. No. That was really beautiful enactment. I wish they had my Texas cowboy hat on. <laughs> oh, I wish I had our still camera so we could have caught it and to show it. That was too beautiful. Hold it, don't move. Hold on. What? Right there. That's, uh, We are now going to go into the Kennedy Museum and uh, talk to the uh, curator. I want to uh, thank you all for coming to the uh, Kennedy Museum. And I also want you all to know, as you watch the history of my life, uh, yes, uh, please, uh, would you prefer, uh, not now, I'll talk to you later about yes, it. Yes, fine, thank you very much, sir. It's a good, worthwhile uh, thing Will that you're you doing. Please uh, step outside. Yes, sir. Right this way, Mr. Doesn't President. seem that, uh, right this way, Mr. President. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States has been the victim of an assassination. There's the yellow it. rose of Texas that I am going to see. Nobody else could miss her, no half as much as me. She cried so when I left her, it nearly broke my heart. But the yellow rose of Texas from me will never part in one hole. Two holes. Back. Second hole, exit hole, no blood yet. Entry hole, magic bullet right there through the wrist. Exit hole, magic bullet. Entry hole, into the blue jeans. It's all over, and it was fantastic. Here's the elevator. 
Do you think you'll be putting on this makeup again sometime? No, I don't think so. This is it? I think this is it. Do you feel uh, satisfied? I feel very satisfied. I feel fantastic. Sure. Well, we got some new recruits. <laughs> pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. I thought the most interesting thing was watching the people enjoy it so much. How could they enjoy it so much? It was cathartic. In what way? It puts an end to it. It puts an end to my interest uh, in it. It puts an end to my interest in the images yeah. in it. It puts an end to my involvement in this fantasy. Yeah. And um, do you think anybody cares? I don't think anybody cares. Do you think anybody is interested in Kennedy? I think a lot of people are interested in Kennedy, but I don't think very many people are interested in me uh -huh. being Kennedy. Uh -huh. But it was interesting. Who, who cares? We all killed Kennedy. <laughs> how, how about you, sir? How did, how did you feel about the program? How did I feel about the program? What, what did you think about it? Well, it was uh, unusual, I should say, for one thing. And the form that whoever put this thing together did it in was ambiguous, a little absurd, and in such bad taste because people take the incident so seriously that it shook me up and it, noticing the crowd reaction, it shook the crowd up too. This is going to give me bad dreams, <laughs> and I'm not even sure why, you know. I thought it was disturbing, but I also thought it was entertaining. And you can In fact, out it's, I, I even, even impressed me like a bad taste, you know, uh -huh. all along. Well, I was impressed. I, I liked it a lot all the way through. I felt this was uh, really what television was intended to do, that is to bring the truth to the American people and to bring real art. And I think we have seen art today. Yeah, I saw 40 minutes worth of uh, a couple of slides, a little bit of real film, and a lot of phoniness.